Hello, and welcome to episode 141 of my Stellar Tactics tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on disabling, boarding, fighting the crew, and then capturing and repairing or salvaging, and then finally selling the ship. Um, when it gets to you fighting and um, capturing ships, the first ship you capture, you will not be able to repair. The reason being is because you won't have the components to repair it. The way you can get the components, uh, components is by salvaging the components you get from ships you destroy, or in this case, when I board the ship, I can salvage the components myself, manually, from the different systems in the ship. Thereby, once I've done that enough times, I'll have enough parts to start repairing ships and getting the full price back. Because when you salvage the different components in the ship that you've boarded, you're going to be lowering the end price that you get from Arcus, who you're going to sell the ships to. But if you fully repair the ship, you're obviously then going to get a much better price for it. So I want to demonstrate the... Uh, salvaging at least of the different components maybe I'll do some repairs just to show it because I have shot down a, a couple of other I have boarded another ship and got a few components but not many Don the developer has added more fun into Stellar Tactics this is a new latest update as of uh, June let's have a look what's the date as of June the 20th 2020 there's a number so anyway he's given more choices when in ship combat you now can decide whether to outright outright destroy a ship or capture a ship you can only capture one ship at a time so if you're fighting two ships the idea is for me personally I disable the strongest of the two ships and then destroy the second weaker ship that way then I go back to the stronger ship once the second one's destroyed and take down its shields again if they've repaired it and then board it but uh, I'm going to show you I've decided with a single skull elite ship which you can see ahead of me uh, so now let's take a look at capturing ships okay so I haven't done scan or anything of it yet it's incoming I've been warned about that so let's do a scan and see what we're up against as you can see it's a single skull elite Ah, oh, medium fighter. Well, that's a good one to start with as uh, to capture. Let's have a look at his weaponry. So it's got a heavy laser and light missiles. So that should be okay. Um, now the developer, Don the developer, has mentioned the best weapon turret to capture ships where it will do less damage, strike through damage to the hull, is uh, Eon weapons so luckily I have a heavy, heavy Eon beam weapon here my second turret is a plasma um, but when you get to disabling the systems when you click on them as you're gonna see when I get to it the rest of your turrets will be disabled so it'll only use the uh, best weapon in this case it's my heavy beam anyway so right I've scanned it let's now do my shielding can't forget to do that and then attack so you initiate just as normal by clicking the red target once I get the ship's shield destroyed once this blue bar gets to zero a little button will appear here as you're gonna see so let's get to it so all my turrets will be firing to start with until I get the shield down. Offline. Right, so I've paused the combat just to show this. You heard it say the shields are offline, uh, as denoted by this bar up here being empty. And also now you see that this button here has appeared. 
Now when I left click on that, it shows me the subsystems of the ship. You've got target and ship weapons, target and um, ship engines and ship systems. So following by what the, because I watched the developers, uh, Don's uh, developers uh, video on ship uh, boarding and the way he went about it is he started by disabling the engines then he done the weapons I think and lastly the ship systems I know that he did the engines first so I'm going to do that first notice when I clicked on the engines to attack them these turrets as you can see all four of them now are disabled so it's only going to be using my heavy beam oh and I've got a good heavy beam weapon don't worry about that very good so hopefully hopefully you've been up doing upgrades in your ship especially you've got yourself a nice heavy beam so right so it's done that all for me disabled all these turrets and chose the right turret to do the job get the job done so now that I've selected that I'm going to unpause and now I'm going to go for his engine you'll know once I've disabled it his engine he'll stop flying all around and crashing in with me and whatnot. but you can see in the little bubble here the circle the green bar going down and you can see the yellow bar the shielding as the crew are repairing it And the engines offline. Right, so there we go. The engines are now offline. Now I'm going to next do the weaponry so he can stop attacking me. I mean, my ship's in good order, but I still want to disable the weapons. You have to disable all three of these before you can board. So there we are. I've selected his uh, ship weapons. Unpause. Notice he won't fly around anymore, so I can just now keep facing that way. And as you can see again, the ship weapons bar is slowly going, turning all red. He is still re they're still repairing their shields. You can see that going up. Offline. Right, now he now he can't fire at me, which is quite cool, isn't it? His shielding he's got to about 70% or well, maybe 65% repaired. Lastly then I'm gonna now go for his ship systems. So he won't he won't be firing at me anymore now. Enemy systems offline. Right, okay, so I've disabled all these uh, subsystems, and now you can see here I've got the option to board the ship. Now, if it took me a bit longer and he repaired his shield, I would then have to click up here again to knock the shields out to bring this option back up. But that would because his subsystems are all damaged even when he's re when he's repaired the shield he still wouldn't be fighting at me or flying around because he'd still the enemy would still have to repair them systems to get them operational again so he'd still be a sitting duck and so it does take a second to destroy his shield again but let's do board ship boarding initialize all rather cool isn't it it's a lot of darn fun, especially when you've got thousands and thousands of star systems that you can fly around. Uh, the future is so exciting for Stellar Tactics with what the developer just keeps doing, which is just making the game more fun 
all the time with every update. Okay, let's do the tab key because there's lockers and chests and all sorts of things for you to open and hack. Um, I hope you like hacking um, if you want to board ships because you're going to have to hack through the doors. As you're going to see, when I walk to this door, let's select my main, it's the leader. See, the door is locked. So now you're going to have to start doing some hacking. Let's have a look. What's my hacking skill at? So I'm at 17. Um, I don't know if the perks have been added yet, actually. Um, but that would be nice to see what perks we get as we go along. So many different... It's been, you think about this. Thousands of systems to visit. And loads and loads of skills to play with and just have fun with. Right, anyway, so he's on 17 for hacking, which is not great. He's pretty lousy, but he's the best of what I've got so I'll work with what I've got let's try and auto hack now this can go insane because the other ship I boarded you had to hack all six digits and by the time it gets to the sixth digit it's going at light speed as you'll see this is going to be a bit of a pain but let's see yeah you see so I'm pretty lousy at the moment for auto hacking, so I'm just going to hack. <sighs> right, okay, I've got to try and remember that now. Got to try and remember. Oh, thankfully it didn't do all six. <laughs> I'll tell you, that is not easy. Right, so I'm going to switch now Lethia to my as the leader. Combat's been improved tremendously. It's been a while since I've done combat. Um, right, so let's see, how are we going to go about this? I could draw them to me. Or I could just go fight them. So we got three enemies, we can see by that. There's two of them. I expect the third one is around there as well. Um, I could actually let them come to me. He's got a melee weapon by the looks of it. And so's he, so I'm going to let them come to me. Yeah, let's just space bar and defend. Let's do this. I'm going to put him there. He can bend the knee. I can actually get a good shot off there and I could do a burst so let's do that to soften them up and nice thing about in combat now is if you right click you can choose isn't that cool that is just so cool and <clears throat> excuse me and not only that you can see what the resistances are although these have got question marks so let's see what his head if his head how much his head can resist a burst of bullets to it shall we oh yeah look at that under half health nice sweet right to get rid of it just right click again okay then i'm gonna space bar and i'm just gonna defend Oh, it looks like they're all melee. That's cool. Right, 
I do love bashing them on the head and stunning them. It is just so cool. So let's do that. I'm going to bonk him on the head. Yes. I don't think it did stun him. Let's try again. Oh yeah, that did it. Look at that. He's out of action now. He is stunned. So what I'd like to do... She has four action points. Can you stun this one as well? Yeah. Right, okay. That's your turn over with. Now, I think that's a melee weapon he's got. Or is it? Oh no, that might not be melee. I can't see whether that's a sword. I think it is a sword. So I'm going to wait for him to come to me. I won't bother shooting. Save my bullets. In fact, I can just use them as healers. And he can heal as well. Right, I want you to hit him on the head. Oh, look at that. How cool. She's got another point improved. And again. Right, he's stunned. So that's two of them stunned. Oh, and I've got another hit. So let's do this one. He's only got a little health. There you go. Might as well finish off this one. There you go. Right, I'm going to wait for this other enemy to come to me. Right, let's see if I can stun this one. Oh, this is a named, by the way. Look at the name, JPJ372. Stop by hitting him on the head. Oh, there we go. Nice. Um, let's do his legs so he can't run off. See if I can hobble him. Not enough action points, okay. Send her turn. No need to waste bullets. Actually, let's do his arms. Yes. Oh, look at that. Cool. Cool, he's barely alive, but he's the elite out of this bunch of uh, crew. Right, she's done. Save his bullets, not needed. See if I can hobble him. Oh, well, he's dead. Right, okay, so that's that encounter. But there's more crew to get. Now it does, the developer does mention in the notes that sometimes you can get rare chests. So I'm that's why I chose an elite ship. Because I'm hoping there's more chance of a rare chest. It sort of makes sense, doesn't it? If it's an elite ship, there's got to be more chance, surely, of getting a rare chest. That's my logic, anyway. Okay, so that's them all looted, I think. Right, let's switch back to Lafayette. That's my leader. Ah, there's a system, a subsystem. And up here you can see this panel of objectives you've got to do. So I'm not going to try and do any repairing or salvaging. The first thing I want to do is subdue the ship crew. 
let's head up this way. So we got four enemies this time. There's the first one. Okay, I think I'm going to keep him. I'm going to just duck him down. He can bend the knee. I don't think he can attack no. There's gonna be more coming from de ahead of me, so that's all right, why. you know what to do. And I don't think he can move anywhere, so he may as well just duck down. And I'll let him come to me, I guess. Yeah. Here they all come. So three dogs and someone with a, a scabbard scrapper. He's got a rifle. Oh, so there's five enemies. Okay, five enemies. It only shows four there. A bit strange. Right, so let's start attacking. Let's do the head. Yes. Did I stun him? Let's have a look. No, I didn't. Destroyed. Right, so these two I'm hoping will block the enemy from getting to them, so they should hopefully be free to just shred the rest of these. Oh, look at that, it's 100% even at that distance. 77 on the head. Yeah, that's torso's 100, 89 on the arms, so I could do is, now yeah, I'm going to stick to the head I think, oh I can do another burst, wow, they're nearly dead, Do this one. Right, they're stunned. So let's do this one next. Can't get to him. I should. Yeah, you can get him though. So let's go to single shot. Dead. And let's now do this one. Do a burst. Nice. Well, that's evened it up a bit. Okay, she's harmed, but 
I think they should be able to take care of these. So only this one, the dog's stunned. Let's take a look. Is he? No, he's not stunned. Oh, that's that action point used up. Let's work on his um, healing. And I'm going to use a small one. Oh, look at that. How oh, cool. Just improve my first aid. Nice. See, now the developer talks about getting different crew members from different space stations, but I've been working six months on the, their skills. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to go to a station and get someone else because these guys now are shaping up nicely for the roles that I've assigned them. I mean, yeah, I could spend time, get a fabricant or something. It's nice to have choices or a core or one of the other alien species, but I'm sticking with my crew for now. Right, let's see. So they're healed up. Skip their turn. Let's finish off this dog. He's quite tough. Let's do his head again. take it out I guess now let's do it with a burst let's see if I can stun this one yeah, he's quite stun resistant And there we go. All right, let's loot up. Of course, there's only going to be one loot bag because the dogs don't drop loot. Ah, oh, so I've got a couple of crates. So let's choose my guy who does the hacking. And let's have a look. You'll notice you get some quite nice items now, especially if it's a ship you've boarded. Um, some very nice items. That, that one's got an empty mod slot in it. Hmm, what's this? Exceptional. I mean, normally I've been seeing rare and exceptional items that I've been finding as loot. It's really quite cool, so it's worth hacking these chests. You just don't know what you're going to get. Oh, let's reload and try again. There we go. Got a bit of ammo from it. All right, let's get him to do this one. I think he just got a skill up. Yeah, cool. So his hacking's at 18 now. Now oh, that's just basic. Oh, look, see? Check that out. Rare. A rare shield. And that should make me... Well, it's not a great deal of money. 1,241 credits. But it's a damn sight more than a basic. And ammunition. There we go. I don't think there's anything else in here. 
Oh, there is a loot bag there. Cool, that's got two empty mod slots on it. It's rare, very nice. Tempted to use that. Let's grab it. Oh, and there's another one, two to hack. Sell. Oh, exceptional. And it's got a slot. You're noticing all of these items are getting slots, and the other one had two slots. Really cool. Definitely above average loot. And this isn't a rare chest. Oh, yes, I've got loot there. Oh, I have looted it. Right, that's this bit of the ship done. Do a quick save. As you might have guessed, this is going to be a long episode. I didn't even set a timer. I thought every now and again I'll do episodes like this when a new feature is added into the game so I can show it properly. I expect there might be a fight going on in there. That's where you're going to place the beacon. That's the very last thing you do. Um, but we need to clear out the ship. Take cover. So I can see four enemies, but as we know, there might be more than four. There's two up there. Oh, look, there's the tough one, the tough nut as denoted by the elite skull so really I want to disable him first now I could come back around here let them come to me mm, I'm just going to send these in I think See if I can get this one stunned with a head blow. Oh, there's another one there. Yeah, so this might be a time for some target practice. Fine. All right, let's get him on his knee. And I'm going to do the boss. It's definitely who I want to do first of all. So we only got one shot in. Oh, look at that, he came right into range of my gun. How nice of him. There we go. 
go. Right, let's see if I can. I may as well get an attack on this one, I guess. stunned. Can I get a hit on this one? No. Oh well, she can defend. Right, can they get this guy? Yeah, they can. And hobbled. Excellent. Very nice. anyone need healing? No, it doesn't look like anyone's particularly badly hurt, so I'll just move Bruvin forwards in, in case I need a healer. I think there's only one left now. stunned cool don't need the guns anymore let's do his arms so he's not so good at fighting See, so a lot of rares you get, which is nice. I should be checking actually in case these are better than what I've got. No, that's not better than what I've got. still has crew on it though so I'm guessing they might be up here in the cockpit let's go take a look ah the door is locked This is going to be a tough nut.
see it goes light speed. Oh, hacking successful. I don't know how I done that, did that, but hey, I'm not going to argue. So I can see two enemies. So it looks like just two. Let's try it and get this one on the head. No, that's all she can do. <laughs> no problem. I got the burst of them. Wow, his damage is just awesome. Mission updated, ship cleared. So you can see now up here where it says subdue ship crew, that is now ticked. Now we can get to the subsystems of repairing or salvaging. Like I say, if this is the first ship that you've done, <clears throat> you won't be doing any repairing because you, be you won't have the components to repair. Oh, a smoke grenade. That might come in handy. So, okay, there's where you put the beacon. You do that last of all. So now we've got to go around the ship and find the ship systems, um, which you can find with the tab key. Oh, here we go. I think there's one. It doesn't really show up when you tab, um, but you can see this sort of stuff coming off of it so let's click on it so when you left click you get this panel up as I said to you I have done a previous ship but I still have zero for them components and zero for them so you can't repair something if you don't have the parts to repair it does that sound like common sense so you won't be doing repairs what you'll do is salvage so you can see this one I've got none of them so here if I try to repair, no spare parts, so let's salvage. See, look, I've got one now, so I can actually maybe repair the next ship. I've only got one of these, so let's let's do a repair just to show you a repair. Well, actually, no, I'm going to do a repair for one I've got lots of, so let's salvage. So I've got two of them now. Once it gets to the bottom, you can't do anything else with it. Oh, just wasted that then. Never mind. Right, what's this one? Oh, I've got five of them, so let's do repairs. Oh, look at that. That was a good repair. Remember, I haven't got any perks yet. The perks haven't been implemented yet. So when we're dealing with perks, I'm sure this will be much easier. And I don't think my skill is that high in repairing and salvaging. I've been deliberately keeping it low until the perks... Oh, up here it's showing us, I think, what my skill is. We can take a look in a minute. So you can see I've done repairs on that. Um, I won't do any more. I want to stick to just salvaging, really, to get lots of components. Um... But obviously, if I don't, if I choose to ignore and don't salvage it, I'll keep some of the value in the ship. So for these, I've got five of them, so I won't touch. Well, I could do a repair. 
there you go look that's fully repaired now that system but this one how many of them have I got I've got two let's salvage oh look jumped up to five so it's not always just one you get sometimes it can be more than one anyway that's done that's fully repaired I don't want to use any more of these up so exit repairs right so that's the first subsystem as you can see here it's ticked this one so that's the, the systems so let's see if we can find now the next that must be surely oh here we go so let's bring my crew here so you can see it's going to take time when you <laughs> when you do um, want to board a ship it's not like a one or five minute process it's going to take a little time right so let's have a look I've got a chance to get now some components I haven't got Got four of them now. Hmm. So you've got two of them. Right, let's exit out of there. <clears throat> you can see now the engines have been done. Um, let's just have a look. What's this? Salvaging's at 21. And oh, so that is correct. That is showing when we see this at the top. It is showing me what my skills are. So repairing is completely lousy. So that's why I might, might may as well just stick with salvaging. Build that up until the perks get in the game. Right, next let's look for the electronics. Where on earth are the electronics going to be? Ah, that could be the electronics. Let's have a look. So you do the three subsystems that you disabled at the beginning and then you do the beacon. So make sure you remember to bring beacons with you. Okay, here's the last one. Yeah, I need some of them. I've got four of them. Four of them. I've only got one. Right, I'm going to leave them because I've got four of them. Leaves a bit more value in the ship. Right, that's them done. Now we go back to the be uh, to the helm. Click on the helm, initialize beacon. This one took a beating. <laughs> uh, still going to give me more, but then that's uh, on the th last ship I did. It was an explorer, so a smaller ship, and it gave me sixty-one thousand credits. This is a medium fighter, remember, so it's a bigger ship. And I'm only slightly getting more, but then I haven't done any repairs. Remember, in fact, I've salvaged stuff off of it. 
and it's still going to give me 75,000 so that works for us thank you Arcus ships in this kind of shape just don't have much to offer a few parts to scrap and the rest goes in the furnace to be melted down and refined into ore if you repair some of the systems I can usually get a better price I'll fire up the translocator once you disembark so sell ship okay and then we can then if I choose Lethia I can translocate although I'm not going to waste that because it uses up actually uses one of my uh, ammos can I remember what it's called um, oh no let's not worry about that anyway so now I've clicked the cell I need to get off the ship once I do that there you go see I've got the credit 75,000 So the developer is speaking about maybe in the future being able to expand into having a fleet so we can own more than one the one ship that we start or or you using at the moment. That sounds exciting. Imagine that if you had a few ships that you could take into combat. That would be really cool. But there we are. So there we are. That's the full process of disabling, boarding, clearing out the crew repairing all the subsystems or salvaging them which is what I did although I did repair a couple just to show to demonstrate and once you've done the subsystems then you place your beacon and then you sell the ship um, how much money have I got hmm not much I've got to work on that so I'm going to now go and place loads of mining drones and carry on in the level one systems because um, my aim was to do all of the all of the systems that have a station in it so I need to do that one next anyway that's what this episode is about I've done what I wanted to show it's absolutely fantastic just stellar tactics keeps getting better and better wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.